Hello everyone, welcome to the channel GDC English. GPA 2026 is arrived. NBEMS has just recently announced a notification about GPA 2026 in which 7th March is the date. 7th March 2026 is the date on which the GPA 2026 is going to be held. Yeah, this is arrived out of nowhere. Even we are very much surprised about the the things of NBAMS, yeah. So in this video, many of the students have asked me, texted me about the preparation strategy that how should we look onto it. And right now we are just having two months and two months and a half to prepare. Even in that only, we have to revise it and consolidate our concepts. How do we do that? So here's the video that I will be guiding you towards this preparation. Last 60 days smart strategy. Okay, so let's get on to it. Okay. So first thing that you that you have faced after listening this news, after seeing this news that 7th March is the date on to which GPAD examination gonna be hell. Yes, time is less. Very much less, two and a half months only. We were expecting expecting it around May only, but it around it came around out of nowhere. Now it's around two and a half months only, and we are having less time. But GPAD is not about studying everything, guys. GPAD is not about studying everything. It is about the right things. It is about the right thing, guys. Whatever you study in a right way, yeah that is gonna make you cross the line that's what i always say you just have to study the right things okay you don't have to study everything but you have to study the right things repeatedly on a regular basis just to keep revising the things and once you are keep revising the things that makes you a difference between a qualifier and an average student okay even the topper of sometimes, even sometimes the topper of the college doesn't able to qualify the GPAD examination. But an average student do who studies the things regularly, repeatedly basis, they qualifies for the GPAD. Yeah. So we do have a 60 days strategy. So we will be looking onto it that how you should be guys preparing onto it. Yes. And what are the things? So GPAD rank. What is GPAD rank? Nowadays, GPAD rank doesn't really too much matter. Yeah, the matter, the thing is, is the NIPER. What is the NIPER? NIPER matter, NIPER ranks matter. From the last two years, GPAD rank doesn't give you a really much about the things. But yeah, it can be decided by strategy, revision, and accuracy not by the number of books you have read not by the number of books you have read it just gives about the total output it just above about the total output that you deliver to yourself and onto that examination day that examination day matters guys it doesn't matter how much you have read, read how much you have read how much you have prepared but that day examination day defines all your journey yeah so this GPAD rank is going to be decided by a smart strategy, a lot of revision and the accuracy of the marks that you are getting inside your test series. Okay. So now we do have 60 days master plan for you guys. We do have 60 days master plan for you guys that in which we have three phase study, three phase study, just like the clinical trials. Yeah. Just like the clinical trials, but, but this is not a trial. If you, if you able to start and get onto those, those things, which I'm telling you right now, you will definitely a hundred percent make the try, make the line cross. Okay. So phase one, phase two and phase three. In phase one, you will be having foundation and control, testing and strengthening after the 30, 30th day. And then the final revision arrives. Yeah. These are the things and the people who have just joined the course who have just started the things this is for you also okay this is for you also and the persons who are preparing for the gpad even from last three months four months 
this is for you also okay so try to be with me in the whole video so that you can understand the strategy guys okay Chalo. so this one the phase one arrives phase one is the revise complete gpad slavers i have written the complete gpad slavers but when i was giving the gpad and my friends was giving the gpad nobody else was able to complete the whole gpad slavers so just try to strong those areas those subjects from which the weightage is quite much higher guys okay so don't worry about the whole slavers I cannot be able to cover this labels. I cannot be able to cover that thing. I will not be able to cover that thing. But yeah, you have to cover that thing also, that thing only, which makes you or gives you a lot of marks in the GPAD. Okay. So identify the strong and weak subjects, guys. Once you give the full length syllabus test, you'll be able to recognize what is your strong subject and what are your weak subjects. Yeah start pyqs this is very important start pyqs because this will give you the idea of gpad previous year question how they how do they ask the question now what is the pattern of it yeah these kinds of things panic randomness just eliminate out of it just eliminate it from your dictionary panic is a natural thing but don't panic too much panic is essential that makes you uh, feel worthy that makes you feel to keep going on to the things okay so these things should be eliminated some kind of okay tier one subjects these are the subjects in which you have to be command a lot a lot a lot because these are the slave subjects which will give you around 50 to 55 percent questions from here only pharmacology and allied subjects and allied subjects how much will be how much questions will be there 28 questions will be there yeah pharmaceutics 38 questions will be there pharmaceutical chemistry 38 questions will be there yeah 38 38 is around 76 and 76 plus 28 is around mm, 114 no 104 104 yeah 104 this is the thing 888-24-2336. Yeah, 104 questions. 104 questions you are getting from these three subjects only. 10 questions from pharmacognosy, biochemistry, and other things. So this should be your priority. Pharmacology, pharmaceutics, pharmaceutical chemistry. This should be your priority in the first phase. From the first to 30 days. First to 30 days. If you are a person who have just started the things you have 30 days just consolidate with the subjects from which the maximum number of questions they do ask pharmacognosy is very easy guys pharmacognosy is very easy alkaloids yeah glycosides glycosides yeah tannins even general introduction of pharmacognosy is very much important and you can even cover it in two days only. You can cover it in two days or three days only from the tricks. And we do have a lots of tricks about it. Okay. Biochemistry is very important. Microbiology is very important. Jurisprudence is very important. Yeah. These kinds of subjects that you should be doing. That you should be doing. Hospital pharmacy is important. Okay. So these are the total subjects that you should be having more concentration, more focus. Okay. So. So what should be the daily structure? What should be the daily output, guys? Okay. So this output is never be can never be a fix. This depends on your timetable. This depends on your lifestyle, and depend this depends on your work time management, time work management. Okay. So with my perspective, three hours major subject. Three hours major subjects. Don't go for exactly that. I will be doing pharmacology only whole day. No. It should be not like that because once you start one subject only all over the day you will be get bored of it you will start getting self-doubting onto onto yourself that's why i'm saying start with complexation start with the mixing things okay start early with some topic of subject then another subject and then 
another subject. That's what I'm saying. Three hours for major subject and two hours for secondary subject. Secondary subject, I have told you that is pharmacognosy, microbiology, <laughs> sorry, and and uh, yeah, and um, jurisprudence, these kinds of things. 1.5 hours for PYQs, one hour revision plus error notebook. Error notebook is a notebook through which you can have error notebook is somewhat onto which you will just write your mcqs from where you get wrong onto which you have got wrong answers and how this should be looking um, correct answer yeah these kinds of thing yeah consistency consistency is the thing that really matters consistency is the thing that really matters even at the even as compared to the long hours the more you get consistent it's quite better than than you sit for a long period of time consistency matters focus only on the class notes short notes pyqs of last 15 hours 15 years an important marked question that you have already marked or maybe you have some pyq books also no so that kind of things what to avoid new reference books random youtube videos over detailed reading that detail is not generally much asked in gpat okay comparing with others yeah this kinds of thing that guy is too much studying and he's having good knowledge what am i doing i'm not doing a 10 percent of him that kind of things you just have a competition with yourself and start making better version of yourself each and every day that's what my perspective is okay Chalo. phase two phase two is i'm not saying that First, you have to study and then solve the MCQs. I'm not saying like that. I'm saying first 30 days, the first priority is to learn a lot of things, to learn a lot of things. But after that, 30 to 45 days, 15 days, you just consolidate yourself by doing more MCQ irrespective of studying the things. The study, 1 to 30, uh, uh, yeah. 1 to 30, study more. Study more yeah then 30 to 45 study less but test yourself more test yourself more guys okay that's what my objective is objective is to improve the accuracy accuracy that how can i accurate myself accurate my answers improving the speed speed generally does not matter in this gpat uh, examination 125 questions and you do have three hours that is quite sufficient time speed somewhat requires yeah but not generally much okay reduce silly mistakes silly mistakes means you have to look to the question at least twice at least twice don't get uh, just guessing the questions just guessing the answers don't do this kind of things if you don't know just skip it skip it for a while then come back again and solve these mcq read that mcq again these kinds of things okay reduce silly mistakes okay what should be the plan what should be the plan per weekly how much weekly test should be attempted by you guys five full length test per week is essential out of seven days at least five at least five full length test should be given by you just to check yourself just check yourself accuracy check your speed check your accuracy yeah knowledge that's that kind of thing sectional test very important guys once you complete one topic just go on to the test series solve that test series and immediately check analyze the test as soon as possible and once you analyze it just write it down in your error notebook and try to maintain that and revise that and again and again golden rule for every wrong question where why did i get in wrong what should be done yeah can concept gap or silly mistake is it a concept gap or it, or it is a silly mistake that you have to identify okay how to avoid repeating it just don't try to repeat it again and again just master your mind whatever you are doing just master it okay once you master it once you try to control it once you're able to control it, no stopping after that. No stopping after that. Okay. Next thing is maintain an error book. Yeah. 
चलो फेज थ्री डे फोर्टी सिक्स टू डे सिक्सटी इवन आफ्टर दैट यू हैव सम टाइम ऑल्सो बट आई एम टेकिंग टू मंथ्स ओनली सो दैट यू जस्ट हैव हैविंग अ प्रेशर ऑन टू योर सेल्फ ओके फाइनल फेज पॉलिशिंग एंड कॉन्फिडेंस आफ्टर बींग रेगुलराइज योर सेल्फ फॉर फोर्टी फाइव डेज you don't have to be under confident you don't have to be having the self doubt on yourself that na i cannot be able to do this na this is impossible for me no you have done this much and this much is very much sufficient now i'm going to make it anyhow i just have to be confident whatever it will happen it will happen i'm just controlling the controllables right now what if what is controllable what was controllable i have controlled the things now the destiny will decide where i will go okay now objective calm mind so you just have to be mind calm okay calm your mind just slow down the things whatever is happening process the things slowly 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 okay strong memory strong memory just exercise the things now for example divanshu okay divanshu chal tell me the classification of ans chalo what was the answer of this that question okay which uh, which drug is acting on to the m2 receptor which drug is generally causing the side effect of tendonitis these kinds of things you just have to keep questioning yourself all the day questioning yourself and the mindset mindset is very important guys if you able to consolidate the things in yourself that you want to make it i want to make it just manifest it once you start manifesting the things will automatically will be happening for you okay what to revise in final phase the pyqs the repeated questions if you having gpat mantra or whatever it is and the error notebook is very much important guys error notebook very much important whatever you have written the wrong questions the silly mistakes just look onto it drug classifications very important tables and formulas very important one liners very important. strictly avoid new topics new notes and panic discussions the person who cannot motivate you who cannot be there with you is one of your biggest enemy guys okay so try to avoid those persons be a engagement be in an engagement of a good conversation healthy conversation and then just trust your depression trust the process okay believe believe that you are having a smart revision pyqs are going on to it consistency confidence see if confidence is no confidence is nothing there this thing will not be happen these above three confidence should be right above in your head that i will do it i can do it and i will be able to cross that damn line for the last two months just don't study hard don't study everything just study gpat smart don't study hard study gpat smart and for those who have started just right now many gpat qualifiers started late even one of my friend when i was preparing for my gpat examination i was the person who has started very early even in the june july month but many one many of my friends who started in january only and we had examination on may in may but those are able to qualify also those were the person who also qualified so at the last i want to say many gpat qualified started late but the difference was discipline not the duration thank you so much guys and please try to consolidate your mind don't panic we are with you the whole gdc team is working for you only day and night and you just have to be confident with a smile and start preparing for yourself thank you so much guys